Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and I'm here to show you the things that I've been making recently. So usually I tend to try and show you guys each garment I've made kind of one video at a time, so make a slightly more in depth kind of almost like a pattern review video for each thing I make. But it's been a little while since I've made a video and I've actually made three things recently. So I thought I'm just gonna shove them all into one video this time and do a bit of a makes video. So it's kind of what I've been up to in May and June. Obviously June's not finished yet but yeah whatever so makes for me in June I've had summer sewing on my mind because we've been having the most amazing weather on and off in the UK over the last month or so and I'm going on holiday in a few weeks so I wanted to make some summery things so this is the first thing that I've made oh, I'm not gonna be able to hold them up properly to show you so I'll put some images in here as well of me wearing them but these are the by hand London holly trousers I really love this pattern. I've made the Holly um, jumpsuit before, I'll put an image in now, in a lovely blue crepe, and I absolutely love it. Just the fit over my bum is just lovely, and in the shops I find it so hard to find trousers to fit me. Oh, if I look, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, excuse me. But these fit so nicely. So as you can see, they've got like a nice narrow waistband at the top and they are kind of figure hugging across your sort of stomach and the very top of your bum, but then they just flow down into these lovely big wide floaty trousers. Now this fabric that I've used is a cotton fabric. I think it might not be 100% cotton, it might have a little bit of polyester in it maybe, um, but it's really soft, so I think it is mostly cotton. But this is actually my old duvet cover. So a really good bit of fabric upcycling there. I'm really glad to have found a use for that fabric because it's just not the type of design I'd personally want on my bed anymore. I made these in a size eight and it fits really, really well. It's the perfect fit for me on my waist and, and across my bum. Um, the legs are very wide. I think if I make another pair, I'll probably try slimming the legs down a bit just to have a bit of variety in my wardrobe really rather than having lots of pairs of really wide legged trousers. But I think they're gonna be so lovely and comfortable to wear in warm weather. I've kind of changed quite a bit recently in terms of what I want to wear in hot weather, which is why I've really wanted to make these trousers because you know, when I was a bit younger, I'd have, as soon as the sun would shine, I'd just be wearing like tiny little skimpy dresses and shorts and things. But actually, I have such fair skin that I really need to protect my skin from the sun. And I hate having to kind of reapply sun cream every five minutes. And I actually just find it more comfortable to wear something where I'm actually a bit more covered up, but it's just loose and floaty. In terms of the pattern, it's a really simple construction. One thing that I thought was a little bit unusual was that the instructions don't tell you to interface the waistband. Um, and I was blindly following the instructions, not really paying attention, so I didn't interface the waistband, which just means it's really quite floppy and soft. So I would interface the waistband next time. I would also interface the zip next time, which is another thing that the pattern didn't tell me to do. Um, it's totally fine, it doesn't notice too much, but there's a little bit of puckering down the side of the zip, just where I think a bit of interfacing would help it to hold its shape a bit more nicely. In terms of fit, I didn't need to make any adjustments other than the fact that they were way too long for me because I don't have particularly long legs, so I did take about 18 centimetres off the bottom of the trousers. With hindsight, I think I snipped a tiny bit too much off, but I'd rather them be like not dragging on the floor as opposed to, yeah, getting all dirty, dragging on the floor. So next time I might leave another centimetre or two on the bottom. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really pleased with these. The second thing I've made is something that I've been dying to make for probably about a year now because as soon as the pattern came out, which I think was about a year ago, I bought the pattern immediately because I knew it was exactly the kind of thing I needed in my wardrobe but fabric scared me off for ages. So the pattern is the Tilly and the Buttons Etta dress, and yeah, it's just such a lovely dress. You can obviously make it out of more shiny or fancy fabric to have it as more of an evening dress, or I, the reason I was really drawn to this pattern is because I thought it would be perfect for work. Now I work in quite a smart office environment, and so I have to wear quite tailored, smart, fitted sort of things. Um, but I've just been a bit scared of making those sort of garments. They've seemed a bit more difficult, fabrics seemed a little bit more scary. Um, but yeah, particularly this. So I've made this version here, which has got the three quarter length sleeves, the high neck, it doesn't have the collar on it, but it does have the lovely little um, sort of faux pocket detailing on the front. And yeah, I love it. 
So this is it. Ooh. I'm afraid this is really, really crumpled because I actually just had to fish it out of the wash basket because I did wear it to work this week. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just ditch this and put a photo for you in here. Um, but this fabric is just the perfect, perfect thing. I bought it when I was in LA from um, the fabric store and it's a really lovely thick cotton, um, but it's got 10% lycra in it. So it's got a really lovely stretch and it's got full recovery. So you do not end up with a saggy bum or saggy elbows or saggy knees, which is exactly what I was worried about when it came to choosing fabric. Um, I love this colour, it's a navy, but it, well, actually it's probably a bit, it's a bit lighter than a navy, which is nice, so it's, yeah, got a bit more colour to it than just a really dark navy. I made this in a size 2, and I did make a few adjustments, so I took 4cm off the skirt at the lengthening and shortening line, just because I know in myself that I prefer things to be, like, just below the knee as opposed to, like, halfway down my calves. I also had to take it in a bit at the zip, um... I'm really lazy, I know I shouldn't probably really take it out at the zip, I probably should have taken it in at the side seams or at the darts at the back, but I'd already sewn those by this point, so I did take it in at the zip because it was there was too much fabric across the small of my back, but then it now fits really nicely across my back, so that worked fine. Um, the arms are a little bit big, so at the back here where the arm uh, meets the, where the sleeve meets the dress, it is a little bit baggy. I'm not really sure how to fix that in the future because I have heard that kind of you know, it's quite tricky to mess with sleeves and armholes because they're obviously designed to perfectly fit one another. So if you have any tips or if any of you know any like links to any YouTube tutorials about how to like make a sleeve hole, an armhole smaller, I think that's what I need to do to stop it having the sort of baggy bit at the back. I took it in at the hips and I needed to do that because when I got it to fit me really nicely on my waist, there was just a bit of extra fabric at the hips that I just didn't fill. Like, I have really small hips, so the fabric was, like, puffing out over my hip and there was no me inside it, if that makes sense. So I just took it in across the hip, but I think I took it in a bit too far down because it is now, it fits me well on sort of just below my waist, like the very top of my hips, but the widest bit of me, lower down where my bum is, basically, is now a bit tight because although I don't go, I'm very up and down from the front, like my hips don't go up very much, but I, considering I'm small, I do have like a bum. <laughs> so that is quite tight across my bum. And I'm really annoyed at myself because I'd already trimmed my seam allowances before I realized this. Otherwise I would have been able to take it out a bit at the hips just to give myself a bit more room. So yeah, I took it in at the top of the hips, but that made it a bit tight further down my hips but it's still wearable, it just is a bit tighter than I would prefer, but I'll know that for next time. This is just the perfect workwear dress for me because I feel really smart in it. I can wear a little black blazer over it if I want to, like in the winter to, for an extra layer of warmth, and I will definitely be making more of these. But I just need to find more fabric because I don't really know, like I do a lot of my fabric shopping online, but I'd be really scared to know if, if it's going to be a cotton, like like this one, with it's so nice and thick, it's sturdy enough to be a fitted dress, but it's got that 10% lycra that makes it lovely and stretchy too. So if any of you know where I can get more fabric like that, let me know. The third and final thing that I've made recently is what I'm wearing now, and it is, it is the True Bias Nico dress. So I'll put a pic some pictures up here now for you to see. But basically, I, again, knew as soon as this pattern was released that it was exactly what I wanted to be wearing during the summer. Um, I've made the um, sleeveless dress version, and I just love the idea of wearing like a long sort of maxi dress that's soft and stretchy and floaty and again I'll only need to worry about my arms being exposed, the rest of me is protected from the sun. I just think it's a really stylish but also comfortable thing to wear in warm weather. So the fabric that I've used is this beautiful bottle green t-shirt jersey. I'm obsessed with this colour. I think it's really good for people with my hair colour. I think it looks really nice with red hair. And yeah, I'm just drawn to this colour so much at the moment. I may have bought a few other pieces of fabric in this kind of colour. Um, but I'll show you in my fabric haul video coming soon. Um, but yeah, this fabric was from the Goldhawk Road. It was from, in fact, which shop was it from? Fabric House Limited that's what it's called and it was only four pounds a meter which is a really good price I bought two meters 
Um, although I got more than two meters because I noticed that um, the piece had a little hole in it, so you kind of only he only he gave me that bit sort of for free and then counted me two meters after the hole. So it's only a little hole. But obviously, you don't want to make a garment with a hole in it. So I got extra, which is a bonus. And yeah, it's just super nice and stretchy. It's lovely and soft. It is. He told me it was 100% cotton. And yeah, so far, today is the first day I'm wearing it. So far, I think it's got pretty good recovery. I was a bit worried about whether I was going to find it had a baggy bum and baggy knees by lunchtime. But so far, I've been wearing it for a couple of hours and so far, so good. My measurements were in between a size 2 and a size 4, so I made a size 4. Um, it is a little bit big, uh, not big, I think it's probably supposed to be. I think you could you could cut out a size in this so that it's really like figure hugging and kind of bodycon, or you could have it more loose. So the fact that I went for the size up as opposed to the size down meant that mine is quite loose and flowy, um, which I do really like because it's very comfortable, but it does mean that I would wear this version with a belt, um, just because otherwise it's I look, looks like a bit of a shapeless sack otherwise but I really like it with a um, a belt around it because not only does it just give me a little bit of definition on my waist but it also makes my legs look longer because it makes yeah makes it look like my legs are starting much higher than they really do so that's a bonus. This one was a really simple construction but I did have one slightly major problem and um, basically I stretched out the armholes really quite badly when I was sewing them and I was a bit frustrated just because the instructions for the pattern don't tell you to stay stitch the armholes to protect them while you're sewing it doesn't tell you to use it's, it's a bit strange because it it does say I highly recommend using a knit fusible tape to stabilize the hems before stitching to prevent from stretching out or getting wavy I didn't read that as meaning armholes, maybe that does mean the armholes too, but I didn't use any knit fusible tape to stabilise anything. The hems were totally fine, but it's just the armholes really stretched out. I did manage to salvage things by just kind of folding it all over again, <laughs> stitching it all down, but it has meant that this, it means that this here is a bit narrower than it should be, and I would prefer it to be a bit wider just because I get a bit self-conscious on my shoulders because they're quite bony and broad and <laughs> but it's totally fine I'm still gonna wear it but next time I will work out exactly what I need to do with the armholes to stop them stretching out and I'll probably also just adapt the pattern ever so slightly to give me more space here that was Tesco's that's really bad timing one minute right sorted out the Tesco man I on a side note I love Tesco delivery it's just the best thing to sit here and have all my shopping arrive and um, so yeah, got to go put all that away in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly finish this video first. So that's it. Those are the three things that I've made recently. I have done a bumper load of fabric shopping recently. Whoopsie. So I am going to make a video soon to do a kind of fabric haul and sewing plan. So if you'd like to see that, do make sure you subscribe to my video so you see when that one comes up. And yeah, let me know if you've ever made any of these patterns, what you think. Um, any tips and tricks are always really greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.